Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another Mac video tutorial. Today's topic is how to get the most out of Spotlight on Mac. Now if you've been using Mac for a while, this may be a bit of a refresher and maybe you'll learn a couple of new tricks, but Spotlight is Mac's search tool that you can use either by clicking the Spotlight icon in the top right hand corner or by accessing the Spotlight tool by using the command and space bar keys on your keyboard. Now there are plenty of different things you can use Spotlight to search for, including items that are on your computer as well as things that are on the internet. However, most people are probably going to be using it to search for items that they cannot locate in their finder and this is obviously the best place to start. You can enter in any number of search terms that you'd like to look for and if you need to get more information you can show all in finder and broaden your search even more by adding more search parameters. But you can use Spotlight to pretty much look up and activate any application on the computer or if you just need to get a quick bit of information Spotlight tends to be a good first place to check because of its connectivity to the internet. The way Spotlight gets to know all of your computer is by indexing your hard drive and new Mac users will often notice that Spotlight it may not be available for a few moments when you first turn on your computer for the very first time and that's because it's indexing everything on your computer and the same will go if you have a lot of different files connected via an external hard drive it is going to take spotlight a few minutes to digest that information and have it available for you in addition to just searching for information you can also open applications like i mentioned and oftentimes when you search for an application you'll see media within that application such as this lady gaga itunes festival video which is available you can actually purchase or rent it right from within the spotlight window and it will take you to iTunes there. Again, because it's connected to the internet, you can also use this tool for other searches such as sports stats, uh, dictionary lookups like I mentioned, or if you actually want to do some calculations without opening the calculator app, you can do so right from within a spotlight window and instantaneously see your sum. You can also check weather for your local area or weather near and far from you if you'd like to, and you can even go through and look up show times for theaters that are in your location. Again, make sure a location service is on so this information is accurate for where you currently live, but you should be able to get pretty much any information that you would like to or at least a link to progress your search further online using Spotlight. I find this to be one of the best tools in macOS, and I hope you found this helpful. Take care.